At the last round, the Carrera Cup King ruled the streets of Townsville. This man has done the job. Craig Baird, pole and three race wins. He's dominated round four. He looks set to take another crown. But no one is... Welcome to Winton Motor Raceway. It's round five today of Porsche Carrera Cup. It's hard to believe that this series has not been here since 2007. Should be a really good weekend of racing. This man, Craig Baird, leads the championship and he won the last round on the streets of Townsville, thus conquering his bogey track. This guy, Warren Luff, in the lead up to this round, lost all of his racing gear after his team was broken into. He's got it back, he's ready to run. It's round five today at Winton Motor Raceway. Trying to rein in multiple Carrera Cup champion Craig Baird is a difficult challenge, but second-placed Warren Luff is throwing everything at him in his debut year. He considers Townsville a turning point, getting up to speed with the car, and predicts the competitiveness will step up a notch this weekend. And at this time of year is always going to throw up sort of different variable conditions and um, and always over the years Winton is traditionally a very sort of uh, challenging circuit in terms of the racing there's a lot of a lot of passing and sometimes a little bit of uh, biff and barge that goes on here hopefully hopefully we'll be staying out of that but yeah I think you'll definitely see some really exciting racing this weekend Michael Patrizzi enjoyed his first podium result since returning to the series this year clinching third in Townsville he knows it will be a challenge to topple Baird for the championship, so he'll take an aggressive approach for outright wins. I think this weekend we'll see some uh, action pack racing in Carrera Cup. I certainly, again, won't be holding back. Um, I need to get as many points as I can if I want a championship. Um, so I'm certainly on the aggressive, and a lot of other guys might not be. So um, I'll try and take it if I can. Nick Perkhat has shown plenty of pace in his debut season in Carrera Cup, but failed to finish the final race in Townsville, making it two DNFs for the season so far. He's now on the back foot and eager to impress before competing with Garth Tander in the V8 Supercars Endurance Cup. DNFs kill any short championship like the Dunlop Series or Formula Ford and um, I'll take responsibility for the one at Townsville but the, the one we had at Grand Prix wasn't any fault of our own, it was just a, a failure of a new part so things happen so you know I'll keep putting the pressure on Better. I've said it all along, keep pressure on him and you no know, last year I came from absolutely nowhere and uh, took it down to one of the last races at Homebush so I'll keep plugging away. In the elite class, drivers showed in Townsville they're happy to go for broke. Opportunity fell Damien Flack's way when class leader Max Twig and others came to grief. Flack's elite class victory all the more special given he drove with one fractured and two broken ribs after a heavy crash in practice. We sort of come up with a plan of attack. We'll roll around quietly in qualifying and just get qualified in case it wasn't a break because we hadn't been to the hospital yet. And, um, yeah, that was our plan of attack. But then each race we'd start, oh, we'll do a few laps. If it gets too bad, come in. And, you know, we were very lucky and got away with it and, you know, took the trophy home and put her up on the cabinet. It's great. Well, for the third time in 2013, Nick Perkhead has taken the Tag Heuer Pole Position Award. Porsche Cars Australia Director of Sales and Marketing, Kevin Nichols, presenting the trophy. Perkhead is in the perfect position. He'll start from pole for race one. All the highlights after the break. This is round five of the Porsche Carrera Cup Australia from Victoria's Winton Motor Raceway. In race one, the entire field was well aware that the rain-soaked infield would punish any car that strayed off the track, so keeping it on the tarmac would be the order of the day. Seven tenths of a second cover the top seven cars on the grid. Perkat slow away. Richards has made a great jump. Perkat down the inside shade. Davies goes with them as well. Bad luck. He's wiped out Stephen Richards. The championship leader has made a critical mistake. Perkett flying through the grass. Shay Davies has been delayed as well. Carrera Cup drama at Winton. Looked like also Max Twig in some drama at Turn 1 also. Perkett, the front splitter ripped off that coat side of Porsche. What a crazy start here at Winton. So bed to the lead. Michael Patrizzi to second. Warren 
Jared Luff started seventh and now finds himself in position number three in the no-second chance car. Adam Gowans, former Aussie Racing Cars champion, now in the Team Kiwi car. He's fourth. Richard Musk at the GT3 Cup Challenge, points leader and soon-to-be champion. He's right there as well. This is a jumbled-up order on lap one. So plenty of guys have benefited from that chaotic start and Craig Baird caught right in the middle of it. Very uncharacteristic to see him involved in an incident like that, but he's leading the field at the moment. Will he come under any scrutiny from the officials? Oh, no doubt. There has to be a penalty, James. It's quite clear he was locked up on the way into turn one. Very rare error. Let's have a look again. Locked up on Percat. Gets to the back of Richard. Sends the other two off through the scenery. I can't see how he can argue that one. I think even he will put his hand up and say that he deserves a penalty. Three wide in the run into turn one here at Winter. Never really works. And another look at the start. Richard's with a great start. Perk out a bit tardy off the line. And Baird now trying to go up the inside. Like we said, three wide. And really, Perkett and Shea Davies, they were the innocent bystanders and all that. And just have a look at the infield here at Winton. So muddy. Oh, Martin Wag has found it. Second start for him. This is the ex Johnny Reed Hunter Sports Group car that is parked. Race director Cam McConville in race control and safety car will come out because of that car being bogged. Let's have a look, though, at turn one and Baird's down the inside. He's so focused on getting past Percat, perhaps he didn't know or he forgot that Richards was around the outside. And, what, and here we go. There is Max Twig in some problems as well. So not sure if he got turned around, but Stephen Richards, very lucky to even get out of the mud in turn one there. And Max Twig, his race is unfortunately over, so... Uh, not the start of the weekend that Twiggy was looking for. Points leader in the elite class, and he's a spectator now as Martin Wagg's car is extracted. And there is confirmation, black flag, pit lane penalty for race leader Craig Baird. So that safety car didn't help him because this penalty's given after it, so he'll go way to the back. And Noon's Warren Luff now in the box seat to capitalise on this penalty for Craig Baird. He's effectively second on the road now once Baird takes his penalty. And his bed is into the lane. This will be drive-through penalty. Michael Patrizzi now goes to the lead. He hasn't won a career a cup race since 2011. Luff to second, and with the points margin being 74 and a half between he and Baird coming into this race, he stands to make big ground. Great fight here, Damian Flack, who has been a real star of the elite class with Shay Davies. He's been the best of the guys who ran off the road on the first corner. He's got pace in this ex-James Conduris car. Third different car he's driven in the last three rounds. He's certainly been through a few cars, that's for sure, but he's up the inside at turn seven on Flack. So nice move there by Davies. And you can see he still has the front splitter on his Porsche, whereas Nick Perricat, he lost his in that off-track excursion. So that will definitely be helping Davies as he charges through the field. Steve Groves had a great weekend in that number four a little bit sideways, qualified position 11 and runs in the top 10. Warren Luff off the road. Don't the do second that. place man is bombed. No drama. Warren Luff stood to gain massive points on Craig Baird. He had a free kick and he's kicked it out on the floor. He's going nowhere too, Noons. He is absolutely stuck in the mud there. So critical error from Warren Luff at a time when the championship had been blown wide open. He will be kicking himself. It's no second chance on the car. It's no second chance in the car. Doesn't matter what he tries there. He's bogged. He's done it all himself as well. Loses the rear, and he was just trying to clear the zone and get away from the traffic. Any other day of the week or year, that'd be OK, but not today. So on board now with Luffy. And you can hear, just locks the rears at the critical turn-in point. Around he goes in the no second chance Porsche. Tries to give it a bit of a flick turn, but into the mud. And all he's doing is spinning those rear tyres, and he's very unhappy. One turn to go, Michael Petruzzi on target for his first race win of 2013. And his first in Carrera Cup since the final round in Sydney in 2011. Andy McElroy's team have come on strong. He picks up race one. Richard Musket, stunning performance home in second. Adam Gowans is third. Personal best for Dubashan Padiachi, he's in fourth. Percat recovers, he makes it home in eighth. Richards is ninth. Shay Davies was actually further down the road. He finished fifth. Well done, Damien Flack. That's a personal best. Same with Tony Bates. Stephen Grove rounded out the top ten. And Craig Baird was back in 15th.
Well, Michael, you said you were going to come out swinging, trying to get that race win, but wow, what dramatic circumstances. Absolutely. I mean, it was chaotic there at turn one at the start. Um, it all played out better for me, I suppose. But, uh, look, I didn't challenge Baird there when he was in the lead because I knew he'd get a penalty because he was a bit too ambitious at turn one. And I could see all the stuff falling off his car. So let's see what happens for the rest of the weekend. Let's have a look again at the first corner accident. Baird down the inside. Three into one does not go. And Richards comes off second best. The former Bathurst champ recovered and finished in ninth. Well, Richo, you're in the box seat and, wow, and then that happens to you, huh? Look, I'm sure we'll get one. We'll get another one at some stage, you know. I, you know, Beto just said he, he, he didn't see me and he, it was his fault. He made a mistake and it was too deep and out of control. And, you know, that's the way it goes, unfortunately, but it's just a hard pill to swallow sometimes. Coming up, it's all the highlights from the second race of the weekend. Watching the Porsche Carrera Cup Australia. With several of the fastest drivers falling foul in the opening race, there was bound to be plenty of action as they made their way through the field. It's a jumbled up grid in race two. This is an extremely unpredictable start. Patrizzi to the lead down at turn one. Adam Gowan's a little lock up on the way in, but the question, James, is how many spots can Richards, Percat and Baird gain, as well as Warren Luff? Remember, he got on the road after bogging the car in race one, but he finished 20th. Well, those four guys will certainly have the eyes on, that's for sure, and be wanting to make as many positions as they can, but up front, it's Patrizzi with a great start, and look, Baird already into it, and around goes Tony Bates at turn four. Lucky to keep it out of the sand trap. Bates had a P7 result in race one. His best ever race result in Carrera Cup. But look at Richard Musket, 21-year-old Victorian driving a car that Mark Scaife drove at the Grand Prix last year. Percat now starting this charge down the inside on Damien Flack. But this is a stunning job from Musket. Oh, well, look at Richard sideways around the sweeper. Musket and Gowans both ran at the Porsche Rent Sport event where uh, two drivers drove each car. It's their first time solo in Carrera Cup. And they've stepped it up. They're performing. Absolutely. Doing a sensational job so far this weekend. As Perkett now, another move on his teammate, Paddy Acci, up the inside into turn 10. So he's already got several positions on this opening lap in the coach hire Porsche. Remember that Nick Perkett won the Dunlop Series round here in V8 Supercars in November last year. He's tested here a lot with the Holden Racing Team. Here's Craig Baird, reigning champ. Car number one. What could have been a disaster in race one wasn't so bad considering that Luff had dramas, Perk had had dramas. Safety car out though here at Winton on this opening lap. And here we go, another replay now of the contact between Baird and Bates at turn four. So Baird up on the kerb, being very aggressive in this opening lap, just trying to hustle as many positions as he can get. Regularly one of the front runners in the elite class, seventh in race one, but he'll be a retirement from race number two. to the control line. Michael Patrizzi leads the way. Richard Musket is putting major pressure on the Western Australian. In oh. fact, he's down the inside. The Jenny 3 factory Porsche goes to the lead. Patrizzi's wide. Shay Davies takes advantage. Now he's down the inside too. This is golden Carrera Cup stuff. They can't all stay on the track. So Davies now up the inside of Musket into turn three. He'll definitely have the line for turn four. He's going to go into the lead of this second race. And Musket gets carted wide out into the boonies. So he's going to dump a whole heap of positions out of this. Gowans went wide as well. Stephen Richards got on through. It is on in race two at Winton. Shay Davies, the young Gold Coaster. First full year in Carrera Cup. Former Formula Ford race winner. Locks a break. He's under massive pressure. Great fight here. Mark Sini, the man with more round starts in Carrera Cup Australia than any other driver. Stephen Groves having a fantastic weekend. Fresh from his first elite class podium in the GT3 Cup Challenge in Queensland. He's brought that form to this track this weekend. And Warren Luff's in the middle of it all thinking, why am I here? How did I get here? Well, he's there, Noons, because he made that mistake at the corner. They're just coming through now in the first race, turn 10. So he's buried still in the pack. What about M Richard Musket? Very unlucky. As have a look at Stephen Grove now oh, on the inside of Mark Seedy, and that hasn't ended well for Grove at all. The right front torn out of the Grove Porsche. Left rear was damaged as well with the rim. And who said the elite class drivers don't have a go? Let's have a look on the replay. Turn 11 is a passing opportunity. He's come from a long way back. There is an open lane down the inside. Sini gets to the point where he has to turn in. Groves carrying a lot of speed. Left rear is buckled and punctured. And then another hit on the way through. Knocks the right front out. So that's a shame. His weekend has been very strong, but it's come undone. 
Well, Shay Davies is on his way home. This will be his breakthrough race win in Porsche Carrera Cup Australia. He'll become the 25th different race winner in this category's history. Final turn, he's on his way home. The weekend started well in qualifying. It went wrong at turn one of race one, but he's come storming through in race two. Fastest lap of the race and no one else in sight. Definitely a fantastic effort there for Shay Davies. He'll be delighted with his first race win in Carrera Cup. Great recovery for Nick Pergat to come through to third. Stephen Richards fourth, but have a look at Davies. Is he pumped or what? Oh, just a little bit, Moff. He's picked up his first win. Stephen Richards fourth. Damian Flack wins the elite class. Craig Baird recovers for six. Musket muscle to nine. And Warren Luff rounds out the ten. Well, Shay, a first victory, and you did it in style. You came from nowhere. Yeah, it was... Uh... We knew overnight we might have a crack at the win and it, it, uh, it's just unbelievable. I, I can't believe it. Um, to get a lap record as well is just makes it all the more sweeter. When we come back, it's the third and final race from Winton Motor Raceway. This is round five of the 2013 Porsche Carrera Cup. The first two races of the round had been incident riddled and more of the same was expected in the final outing of the weekend. So race one and race two winners square off on the front row of the grid. Patrizzi bursts in a wheel spin. Davies is off and running. Perkett down the inside. Richards to the outside. Three wide in the turn one's never good. Davies though, he's made the mistake, locked it up, speared off the road and now Richards goes around. He's having no luck this weekend. Paul Kelly spins as well. Again, turn one's drama. Big drama, like you said, Noons and Michael Locasano. He's got damage to the front of his Hallmark Porsche. So, be interested to see if he can continue. But Perkat, great start. Problems also for Adam Gowans now in the Team Kiwi Porsche. Looks like he's popped a radiator. So, he's out of the race. Wowee, what a start to this third and final race here at Winton. I thought we'd had all the action we could muster, but we've got more in this final race. Warren Luff trying to get a move on Duvashan Padeachi, but it's Nick Perkat who leads the way. Patrizzi in second, and that would be enough for him to win the round. Look at this. It is on. Luff desperately trying to claw back ground. There's just two rounds left to go after this weekend at Bathurst and Sydney Olympic Park. Baird is in front of him. He needs to get in front of car number one. So Luff now, and drama's again in the background. Stephen Richards evolved. I think again, Marty wags around at turn eight. So he's stuck in the grass. How was Stephen Richards involved in all that? Gowans now, yep, he's out of the race. Radiator gone on that car, but replay of the start now. Davies just locks a brake at the critical turn-in point, runs wide, and I think that just messes up Stephen Richards. He goes around, Paul Kelly in the background looks like he got some assistance. There's cars going everywhere. This is the onboard with Damien Flack. He will see it all, the elite class front runner. There's Perkat down the inside. As turn one funnels in, there's Davies locking up and running wide. There's Richards going around. Flack does a great job to get through there. Very easily could have been involved. And this is what went on. Wag has spun. And Richo looked like he was just avoiding Wag, so he's lucky to get back onto the circuit. Rusty French has gone around. Stephen Grove is back in pit lane, hopping out of his car. So tough second and third race for him today. Six cars eliminated, James, on the first lap alone. They're dropping like flies. At the front of this queue is Damien Flack. He has been the four man in the elite class, not just this weekend, but last round as well. And if he can hold on to this position, dudes, he stands to go back-to-back -back elite class round victories. And with Twig having a shocking round, James Kondouris isn't he here. He stands to gain a lot this weekend. Shane Spolin looking to the outside of Duvashan Padiachi in the Ting BRM car. James Bergmuller in the Porsche Centre Brighton car is right in behind there as well. That car's run by Stephen Richards' crew. And small and putting the pressure on Padiachi, who's raced overseas in British Formula 3 and Formula BMW Pacific and ran the Bathurst 12 hour this year. And Smolin, though, down the inside, so the elite class driver goes past the pro. Good move by Smolin there, that's for sure. But back up here, looking at the battle for fourth between Davies, our race two winner, Warren Luff and Richard Musket. So Luffy, he'll be trying to get past Davies because he needs all the points he can get. And Davies has to be kicking himself about that first quarter mistake. He had the fastest car in race two, but such is the field, it's hard when you're in the pack. This has been a fantastic recovery from Perkat in race three. A gearbox change required between the two races, and he's on his way to victory. And this will be his first 
solo race when he had a win with Rodney Jane at Sydney Motorsport Park, but Hercat picks up race three. Three different race winners from the three races this weekend. It's been an unpredictable round. That hasn't happened since Phillip Island some 12 months ago. So Hercat recovers. Baird, though, sneaks home. He gets points. He's second. Patrizzi, though, he's third. He wins the round. And Damien Flack takes back-to-back -back round victories in elite class. But your race winner, he's with Kylie King. Nick, you've salvaged something amazing out of this weekend. Yeah, to um, take up my own airlines company at race one and... Uh be where we were at the end of that with a pretty uh, banged up car. Couldn't be happy to win race three. I think, um, you know, if we didn't have a little mechanical issue in race two, I'm 100% sure we would have won that. The car's been a rocket since we rolled out the truck and um, finally get the coat car at the front. It's a very jumbled top ten for the round here at Winton. Great job from Musket to finish fourth. Michael Patrizzi, though, his second Carrera Cup round win. Michael, it all went to plan, and here you are, top of the podium. Yeah, we, I think we did what we had to do this weekend. Um, we were gifted a little bit with a few incidents, um, but then from then on, we just managed the weekend to win the round. So now we'll just hopefully gain some points in the championship, and we can continue to Bathurst, where last time I won quite easily. So let's see what happens. It's game on in the championship. Top six are within one round of Craig Baird aiming for his fifth crown. Percat jumps to second, Luff drops back to third and Patrizzi is in the mix. But it's a win for the Western Australian this weekend. He won last time he was in a Porsche at Bathurst. That's the side of the next round. Round six of seven is supporting the super cheap auto Bathurst 1000. Thanks to James Moffat and the whole team. We'll see you for the next round of Carrera Cup at the Mountain.